Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from eGatSec. I got a couple of reports from my previous video where you guys couldn't log on to your Google account. So I decided to create a new video with a different process and this is one where you don't need to have a USB OTG. You can copy the files or download it directly to your P40 Pro or your other Huawei phones and you can try it from there. So as you can see in front of me, I've got my P40 Pro. It still has the Play Store which I installed from my previous video but I'm going to be doing a factory reset and I'll show you guys how to do it from scratch. So let's go ahead and factory reset the phone. Alright, so now you've got a phone that's freshly reset. I put up the download link on the description below. So just download that file directly on the phone or if you want to use a USB, it's up to you. But I'll be using the browser. Once the download is complete, go to File Manager and then I can just update it later. Extract to, select the directory and go to the root folder. So just click on that and there it is. So, so you guys know where it is, go to Categories, Internal Storage, to be on System Hacks then you copy the Huawei folder and move it to the root and merge okay the next step that you guys need to do is go to apps show your system processes go to backup stop it and uninstall now before we go ahead to the next step of the process, you actually have to make some changes to your date and time. So go to system and updates, date and time, don't set it automatically, and change the date to sometime before July. I'm doing it uh, today, it's August the 1st, but I'm going to set it for the 1st of June. Okay, so that, that date and time is for June of 2020. Now go back to the files where we extracted and should have one, two, three, four, five, up to nine. Actually, this is 10. And go through the steps one by one. Since we already uninstalled the backup app, you install that again. Don't ask me again. Allow and install. Next, go to settings, system and updates, backup and restore. Let's click next on that, agree. And since we're not using an OTG or a USB, we go to the rightmost, click these three dots, restore from the internal storage, and this should be the backup that we copied. So this is the contents of the Huawei folder. Let's restore that. And password should be there on the bottom. Okay. Now exit out. You should have the LZ player, the app with the G icon. Activate and allow. And click on the bottom below. So while that is running, we go back to File Manager. Okay, now that we're back here, you actually have to install apps from number two to six. So let's go ahead and do that. And finally, we install app number 7, which is the Google Account Manager. Now, the next step is to add your Google accounts. But before we go ahead and run that, we go back to settings. We go back to the date and time. And change it back to today's date. Now, that is changed. We go to users and accounts. Add an account. Add your Google account. Then, existing. Okay, wait for it and then should eventually let you add your account. Now if you do it normally, you're going to get the problem communicating with the Google servers. So what you do is 
persisting and click down there do the browser sign in you go back to this screen but you don't have to enter your password again you just go out go to users and accounts again and you can see the account has been added this is the step where you add all your google accounts that you want to add it's going to be pretty hard to add it in later once we've done the whole process so, so just go ahead and add all the google accounts that you want right now so now we've got the google account added the next step is we have to change the date and time again so go back to date and time and change it back to something earlier like june go back to the lz play start it now while that is running you go back to file manager and install the google services framework okay now you should be getting a lot of pop-ups saying google play protect is turned on and that google play services requires an action that's what we're waiting for now we open up play store and see if it's working and you see it's loading fine now let's install an app guys while it's showing those pop-ups so you've still got the play protect turned on so what you need to do to get rid of those pop-ups is go to your apps go to google play services and let's uninstall this one and install the one in the apps folder but before we go ahead and install that of course we need to put the date back let's put that to june Make sure this is still running and then go to files and install this mod 1 APK. Well, when that's installed, you can go ahead and close out whatever Play Store you've got running. So I've got this one here. Let's open that up. Okay, if it doesn't work, you can go ahead and clear the cache again. So what you do is, let's just put that in silent for now, go to apps, show system preferences, go to Google, or stop this, uninstall, or stop, or stop, okay, uninstall, and for stop, and then make sure the date is correct. And this is still running. You can rerun it if you want. And install the framework again. Now let's try to run Play Store. Sometimes you have to restart the LZ Play and then open up the Play Store just to get it up and running. Last update will be to install that final app. So what we need to do is go to apps, apps again, uninstall display services, and make sure the date is somewhere in June. install the final app and done just put the date back okay each one is installed fine let's see if that works Okay, so it's installed guys. One final test will be to do a restart. Okay, we started. Let's open the Play Store. Am I getting any further pop-ups? No. Let's see if we can still install a couple more games. Let's try One Punch Man. YouTube is working fine installing fine and there you go 
So for cleanup, you can go ahead and uninstall the LZ Play and the Google Account Manager if you want, but it's up to you. Play Store and Play Services updates are fine. You can update whatever you want from the Google Play Store. That's going to work fine. I still have to test though if you're going to update your MUI version if it's going to break the Play Store app. I don't have any updates yet on the phone, but once I do, I'll test it out and let you guys know. So hope this video will help you guys for getting that Google sign-in error. Until then, we'll end things here guys. A sub will be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell icon notification and see you all in my next one.